Jose Esqueda, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you how to do some basic photo editing with Picnic, which is an online service that does not require any software installation and it's free to use all of the basic tools. It's a really great thing, so let's check it out. So before we get started, make sure that you have a photo that you would like to edit already on your computer and know where it's at. And we're going to open up our browser of choice, and we are going to go to Picnic, which is P-I-C-N-I-K.com. And you can see it says Photo Editing Made Fun, and we want to click on the green Get Started Now button. Now from here, we'll be taken to the basic editor, and we'll have to upload our photo so that we can go ahead and edit it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Upload a Photo, and we're gonna find that picture. Mine is right here on my desktop. It's somebody with some very serious red eye that we are going to correct. So I'm going to click on that and hit open. And now that that's been done, you can see, oh my gosh, this picture has so much red eye in it. We have to fix it. Now, once you've uploaded your picture, which shouldn't take long, you can see on the left side, we have some basic edits like crop, rotate, exposure, colors, sharpen, and resize. But if we want to do something like remove red eye, for example, we can go to the touch up button, which is right here under edit. Once we click on that, you'll see a whole bunch of different options here. Now, some of them say premium next to them, which means you have to upgrade to a membership, which is paid in order to use those options. But options like teeth whitening and red eye removal are actually not a part of the premium plan. You can use them no matter what. It's totally free. So let's click on red eye. So once we see that we're in the red eye section, it will ask if we have a human picture with red eye or a furball picture with red eye, meaning you can actually fix your pet's red eye, which is kind of a neat feature. But this is definitely a human, so let's make sure we have human selected. And once you've picked human, you want to go over to the picture and you'll see a little crosshair with a red eye symbol next to it. And all you have to do is go ahead and click in that area where there is red eye and you'll see that it automatically gets fixed. Look at how easy that was. And then you want to click on the apply button to make sure that we save those changes. So now that we're done fixing the red eye in the picture, let's play around with it and see if we can add some other options. Well, I want to go into effects because I like effects and I think that's really cool. There are so many different options that you can choose for photos and a lot of them are free to use, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's say I would like to have something that is a little bit like maybe an old 60s picture. So here's 1960s. And if I click on that, you can see that it changes the picture to a more 1960s vibe. Uh, if I don't want that, you can just click on cancel. And let's say maybe you want a Lomo-ish picture. And if we click on that, you can see it also changes the picture into a more kind of cinematic look, which is really neat. So I like that. I'm gonna click on apply. And you can go ahead and add as much as you want to your photo, which is really great. And once you're finished, you want to go to the Save and Share tab, which is up in the top next to the Edit tab. So once you've done that, you can actually type in the file name you'd like to name this. So I'm actually going to put the name of the file and then a dash and revised because I've changed it. And if I want to change the size of it, I can here. Uh, I like the giantness of the picture because then I can use it anywhere. I can use it as a wallpaper or anything else. So I'm going to leave that alone, and you can actually choose the format, which is JPEG or PNG, and it'll actually tell you what each one of those are best for. Uh, best for most photos is JPEG, so we'll leave that alone. And you can actually use a slider to pick the compression quality, which means how small do you want the file, but if you choose really small, you're gonna compromise some of the quality of the photo. And by default, Picnic leaves it at eight, which is a really good sweet spot between quality and compression. So at that point, all we have to do is click on Save Photo. And you'll see a pop-up come up and ask me to select where I would like to save my photo to. I would like to save it uh, on my desktop. Just click on Save once we've chosen that location. And you'll see it says the photo is saved to your computer. And that's how easy it is to do basic editing on Picnic.com. And like I said, it's free. You don't have to install it. And you don't have to buy any software, which is really fantastic and a very easy way to edit your photos. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.